we have the shurikens are for cut they don't do impairment so if uh, for example Frostgaia Helga tries to charge or evolve this shuriken won't do anything except the 16k damage which doesn't matter earth bomb reduce attack and movement speed won't work on guardian the sweet part is 32k damage um whirlwind bump more useful it has impairment 4 this works on Helgaia, Frostgaia evolve state it works on turtle to down it faster and it deals ridiculous damage it should be a lot higher price wise that's again i don't i can't understand this bullshit here fire bump impairment 3 uh you know a less a smaller version of whirlwind bump impairment 3 and adds a dot effect um, with fire damage cold bump pretty uh oh yeah it's a freeze one never mind it's solid impairment and good damage you know, the same damage as whirlwind bomb dark bomb really good for um specific wall uh, not wall post actually wall post works too and uh, guardians you can throw it to apply a debuff which decreases the defense by 20 percent and it deals also um solid damage so this is one of the things which we use, for example, on the last Guardian, Teltalos. Once we down him, or once we put a Scarecrow right at the beginning of the fight, everyone has to take a Scarecrow, by the way, for Teltalos. I already mentioned that in my guide for Teltalos. And at, right at the beginning of the very first encounter, one guy plays a Scarecrow, boss gonna focus the Scarecrow, one of the guys throws the Dark Bomb, and everyone else throws the Molotov just to speed it up. And we have the destruction bomb, destruction, no fucking impairment, no cut, destruction, used for Lebanos and the turtle to destroy their shell. It won't help you to interrupt Hellgaia's or Frostgaia's evolve. Water bomb, barely used, but a fucking awesome item on Yoho. If you guys are struggling at Yoho, you should use that. There are cases or there are a lot of times when Yoho tries to charge or st do stuff like that where you can deal free back attack damage if you're unlucky yoho will be on a fire spot like on a flame spot and if you stay there you're gonna take a lot of damage what you can do is just throw the fucking water bomb the fire on the ground gonna disappear and you can deal free damage uh so fucking use it. like one of the guy if you have a pre-made group use take it one guy with one water bomb should be enough stun bomb um is a better version of the trash stun bomb you can use it in cubes to stun the elite mobs and has decent impairment molotovs should go higher uh, once we reach weekly rates deals tons of damage um comb in combination with dark bomb and it can crit and it scales it should scale also on all the buffs so um usually you throw the dark bomb um and the bard activates his ult or her ult, and you use all the buffs, uh, soul master, battle, uh, battle master buff, and then you throw the molotovs, and the molotov gonna crit like, crit every time with every tick, and also deal increased damage. Penetration bomb has penetration, no impairment, no cut, no destruction. Uh, penetration means it gonna ignore a certain percentage of the armor and deal uh, a little bit more damage. Corrosion bomb. If you are cheap, like if you don't have a lot of gold, one guy takes corrosion bomb, throws it at the boss, and if you need to cut the tail, or if you need to destroy the shell, you will take less, um, you need to throw less of those combat items to destroy the shell or cut the t uh, tail if it has the corrosion bomb applied. It will increase the um, part destruction part plus one, so more cut and more destruction. Um, holy bomb, actually, um, it's just to remove CC effects and sleep bump will be useful in GVGs. Goodbye. It um, will be useful in GVGs to, uh, you know, put a lot of guys into sleep state. And if you communicate well, you can put everyone <laughs> or half of the team into sleep modus. So that's it. That's uh, the short combat item thing. Uh, we should also, like, I already mentioned um, the Scarecrow will be useful for Teltalus 
we used it every time like i cleared total of three four times already and we always use the scarecrow to boost our damage and if he enraged as i mentioned in my raid guide um you use the scarecrow to down him fast fast as possible signal flare a must have for every fucking raid and bonfire nice to have but could be a waste of slot so um, mostly used for cube runs and buff wise um that's actually pretty um, easy to know what which buffs does. Uh, you should already know the substats, so I think I don't have to explain this here. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, be free to ask. <laughs>